I want you guys to see this. This is a new beaver dam. They're already building. So from right here, it drops off to about 11 feet. So this is a drop off. So I know I'm going to be fishing this spot here. This is a new beaver dam. I'm going to get a close up so you guys can see it real good. I'm hoping I can get in there real good. Let's see if I can kind of skirmish in there. You can see those sticks in there. Look at that. I don't know how close I'm going to be able to get. Look at that. See that beaver house? Can you guys see that? Look at that. So I'm telling you, the crappie are going to be all in there. You can see those sticks down in there. Look at that. Guys, this is a new beaver house, and I may even have to get up in there to catch them. Okay? They, they load sticks all up and down, all up and down in here. Look at that. Okay, so I may be fishing. I may post up out here or I may go inside there. Let me see if I can get a good shot of this for you guys. Let me see if I can get myself together. I don't know how close we're going to be able to get. Can you guys see? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. Look how they packed that dirt with their tails. They took that mud up there and they started packing. And they have an entrance below. So they don't have to come out of the water. The, the entrance is beneath the water. Look at that all the way around there. Guys, I may be able to post up in there and just kill them. So that lends hints to that old saying, busy as a beaver. Because these rascals are always doing something. Let's back on out. I'm going to go over what I'm using now, okay? Let me give you guys a good shot. On here, guys, I just got off to show you that the beaver, you know that old saying, busy as a beaver? Look at what he's been doing. You can see he stripped all the bark. And you have to remember, uh, beavers only eat, they're vegetarians. They don't eat meat, okay? They're not car carnivorous at all, okay? So this has developed a new fishing spot for us. You can see how shallow it is. Look at this. See how shallow it is? And it drops off to about three and a half, four feet. And out there at the end, I'm going to post up with my boat. I'm going to post up out there about 20 yards out. And I'm going to kill them right at the end. Anywhere there's new structure, these beavers just created me another fishing spot. Okay? Matter of fact, let me see if I can get in and show you guys. Look at that. Look how they stripped all that bark off of there. Anything that's hanging in the water, they eat it. Plus, they've been busy building a new house. So, this right here just created us another fishing spot. What I'm going to be using during the spring, I want to show this to you guys. This is, these are my top, top, the, very, the top shelf stuff. This is the best. This is my Ferrari. This is my Lamborghini. Okay. This is my Bugatti. Um, this is my White Ghost Cam Signature Series. You can see the White Ghost. Okay. 10 plus 1 ball bearings, all white. <laughs> all of my, my, my rods are carbon fiber. People ask me, well... Cam, why do your rods cost so much? Because we use top shelf stuff. We don't use graphite. We don't use composite. Okay, you guys got to bring your game, your A game. You got to come forward. If you need something that's sensitive but accurate, and I'm going to show you in this video how it works. This is the Thunder Blue. Okay, that's the Thunder Blue. This right here is my blacked out titanium. That's my number one seller right there. The other three, we just got those in. We just started selling them within the last eight months to a year. And this right here, is my matrix red okay you decide what you want split e split handle EVA grip soft to the touch low maintenance waterproof grips I'm sorry water resistant okay ceramic guides guys all of my guides are pre-measured precisely to stop line line slap that's what robs you of distance plus you guys have heard me mention on my videos that um, crappie sometimes will come up three out of four times and taste your jig and you don't know it if you don't have an ultra sensitive rod a crappy rod and reel uh, ultralight you're not going to be feeling that 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 slight little tug you have to have something that can be the difference of you landing that fish in the boat or that boat or that crappy staying in the water that's very very important okay so let me get back on the boat i'm going to show you a little bit more of what they were doing the beavers that is and i want to tell you guys thank you so much we are approaching 10,000 orders booked and shipped. Matter of fact, you guys can see some activity going on out there right now at the end of, at the, end of the tree. Okay, you can see some activity going on out, out there right now. That's where I'm going to be killing them at. All up and down this embankment. 
they're going to be in the shallows. All up and down this embankment, they're going to be in the shallows. Let's go around the corner, guys. Listen, get yourself something to drink. Go to the refrigerator, get you a sandwich, get you a soda. Have a seat on the sofa. I want you guys to watch and see what I'm giving you, okay? I'm so, I'm so light, I'm heavy. You guys got to pay attention. Don't let this stuff go over your head. Let me get back on the boat, and I'll show you exactly what we got. I'm going to post up about right where I am, possibly a little bit further out. You guys have to excuse me, it's cold today, but I think we're just about finished with all of our cold weather. Let me back us up a little bit. We're just about finished. So what I'm giving you guys today is a pre-advice of what I'll be doing and how I'll be fishing, okay? Today I'm going to feature uh, four of my signature series. We have a total of six or seven um, on board with me right now. I'm going, to, I'm going to show you this is the White Ghost. Let me show it to you so you guys can get a really good look at this White Ghost, okay? These are my top, top shelf. You heard me mention before. This is the, the, the White Ghost. This is my signature series. Carbon fiber, uh, ceramic guides, matrix drag, surefire bail, left and right uh, reel. You can, you can, if you're left-handed or right-handed, it doesn't matter. Fuji reel C. Guys, this is my 6'6 white ghost. This is my baby. This is one of my babies here, okay? And I'm going to show you today how accurate my rods are. That's my purpose for today. That's the white ghost. And also, I want to show this to you as well. Guys, that's that double tail. I'm going to be running the double tail this year. Let me see if I can show it to you real good so you can see it. That's that double tail. Okay, we have 13 different colors. All you got to do is just go to cams, crappy, combos.com. Now, as of today, we are the largest crappy kit makers in the world. Okay, we have over 60 crappy combos kits on Cam's crappy combos.com. Okay, all of them come with free shipping. So you get the nasty bin hooks, you get um, unpainted, one eighth unpainted, you also get the, uh, the uh, chartreuse nasty bin hook jig head painted, and you also get the hot pink. And it comes with four different styles of our plastics. You get the double tail, which you just saw, and also, if I can find it, you know you're going to get the stinger shad, you're going to get the curly tail, because you guys have seen me fish with the curly tail all the time, which is right here. You're going to get the curly tail, and you're going to get, listen, this is brand new for 2022, you're going to get our slab shad. You're going to get our slab shad. This is the slab shad. Let me show it to you. That's the slab shad. Okay, we have 15 different colors. That right there was the glitter shad. And also, let me show you this one here. Guys, these things, you're going to see me fish these come summer 2022. There it is right there. I think I may have a picture of it up in the screen too. So you get all this in a kit. Okay. It comes in a nice water-resistant carrying case. You get four different types of hooks, plus you get four different types of plastics, including that slab shad. Let me show it to you. That's that purple glitter. Mm, mm, mm. So nobody can surpass us when we're talking about kits. Now, why do I do kits? Because it's simple. Crappy have a lot of different colors. One day you may come out, they want this color. One day they may come out, they may, they may want this color. When you buy the kit, you get everything all in one. Okay, all you have to do is find the water, get your rod and reel, lace it up, boom, you're ready to go. That's why we call them the Elite Kits, because they got our most popular colors, and I hand make each and every single one of them, and I pick the colors. Let me back up a little bit, because I done kind of got out of position. Um, but today, guys, I'm going to show you how accurate my, my, my uh, crappy rod and reels, my cam signature series are. And I want to tell you guys before you start, before we start, these are, the, these are my top shelf. These are my Ferraris. These are my Lamborghinis. And if you take care of these rod and reels, they'll last you for a lifetime. Also, I want to mention that no matter what rod and reel that you get from us, they come with a one-time accidental replacement, which means if you break it, even if it's your fault, you break the rod, we'll replace it. All you have to do is play for shipping and hand handling. But as long as you own the rod and reel, we'll give you 75% off 
plus you pay seven you pay for the two-day air shipping for life whether it's your fault or not and we send you a brand new rod or if you damage the reel we'll send you a brand new brand new reel as well okay so you guys saw the white ghost this right here is the matrix red let me show it to you real good so you guys can get a good look at it you see that that's that cams matrix red same eva split grip i designed it for comfort okay so you can be accurate accurate with your reel listen you're not going to find once you hold this guys this is one of the best ultralight crappy rod and reels on the market today it's hard for me to express this to you through the camera but let me tell you something countless many people have said this cam when when the box arrived i figured maybe you forgot the reel it was so light okay when they open it up and they hold it in their hand you can't find once you get the comfort of holding this rod and reel in your hand you're not going to be able to find it anywhere else okay you're stuck for life with these carbon fibers they're not composite they're not graphite okay you guys have to make sure that you're comparing apples to apples these are carbon fiber okay so you need to get them while i have them in, in stock you know a lot of people are sold out of a lot of items okay but right while we have them guys go to camscrappycombos.com and pick yours up or if you want a larger selection you can go to camscrappyhole.com now remember you'll see shopify shop now on cams crappy combos and you also see afterpay on cams crappy hole.com but this is the matrix red okay so you decide which one that you're interested in all of my rods are counterbalanced like this okay so at the end of the day you're fishing in seven eight nine hours catching crappie and don't let you run across a whole bunch of them it's so light and sensitive you won't have to worry about that now what you're going to see me using today is is our number one seller the blacked out titanium this is our number one seller we only have a few of these left guys that's that cam signature series this was my first one that i came out she's all black she's blacked out okay i run six pound monofilament on mine okay i'm going to show you i'm going to today i'm going to show you this rod and reel in action how accurate it is okay and last but not least this is my thunder blue you guys have seen me use use this one that's my thunder blue cams let me make sure you guys can see that 10 plus 1 ball bearings. Listen, I challenge you what you need to do. Go to your closet, go to your, your garage or in the back of your truck. Check to see how many ball bearings that you have in your, in your rod and reel. Look at mine. 10 plus 1. And that 1 is to stop that bale from going backwards and forward you do, with, with the flick of a wrist. You see that? You see how it went backwards? Look. See, it locks. Okay? You flip that, it goes backwards and forward. Flip that, it locks. Okay? That's what the 1 is for. All of, my, all of my reels, guys, I designed them with a gear ratio of 5, 1 to 1. So in actuality, if you read it backwards on your reel, the specs are on my reel. So for every 5, you see it right there on the screen, 5, 1 to 1. So if you read it backwards for every complete revolutionary turn of this crank handle one time, this bale will spin 5.1 times. It will spin 5.1 times. So if you're fishing, bass fishing, which a lot of you guys will take your bass rod and reel and you go crappie fishing with a bait caster. Why, why you do that, I don't understand. Um, and you got a 7-foot medium rod. Guys, in certain places, they call these paper mouths. Because if, if you have a bass rod and reel that's a 7-foot, 7'2", 7 7'3", 7 and it's a, it loads heavy, that backbone kick, kicks in immediately, immediately you're going to yank that bait, that hook right out of their mouth. Okay, that's not what you're interested in. You're interested in an ultralight, and my backbone kicks in slow, but the tip is very, 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 very sensitive. Okay, so these are my top shell. I don't, I, I, this is what I make. Okay, this is the top. A lot of you guys say, Cam, listen, man, I don't want to fool around with anything else. I want your very best. I'm giving it to you today. This is the Thunder Blue. Okay, so let me get posted up here, guys. I'm going to show you my blacked out titanium, and what I did was. I clamped on the end, this is the blacked out titanium, I clamped on the end, let me put these right here for a minute, just for a minute, and I'm going to bring them back, that's the white ghost, there we go, I just put a bobber on the end, okay, it's a weighted bobber, you can get these in it anywhere, but for the example of this video, I want to show you guys how accurate they are, and how I will be fishing them, let me turn you up just a little bit so you guys will be able to see me, okay. Fantastic. 
Okay. Let me get myself together here. Now, it's important. I'm going to have you guys right over my right shoulder. And I want to explain this to you while I got you here. One important reason that I have the camera, you guys sitting right over my shoulder, because crappie are supposed to be a panfish, and I try to show you guys with scale. Okay? As opposed to you being on my chest or on my head, you can't really see how big that crappie is that I'll be catching. Matter of fact, let me pull you down. That I'll be catching when it comes to spring. You can't see that. So when I film all my videos with you guys over my shoulder and I turn around and show you, I try to show you at scale. So you can see how big some of these, these big males that we're going to be catching in the next four or five weeks coming up. So what I'm giving you right now, guys, is a pre-advice of what I will be doing come spring in the next three, four, five weeks, depending on when they turn on. I'm gonna start looking for them in about two and a half, three weeks. We're in January now, okay? So I wanna give you guys all the information so you can sleep on it, think about it, and then come back and see me because you can't find these rod and reels nowhere else but at cam. You can't find these nasty bin hooks nowhere else but at cams, okay? You can't find my plastics nowhere else but at cams. Some of them are even exclusive. You can't get them anywhere, okay? so. I want to tell you guys, irritation is going to be the key come spring. You're going to be casting in the shallows or even in, even in about six feet of water. Okay? So I want to show you guys this. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay? I'm going to pull you right over my shoulder. Okay. You can see where that tree is. I'm going to post up here, here, and here. Because it depends on how, the, how that jig may come across that you may decide to pick up and leave. But those crappie are still there. Just don't do one cast. Make sure you do more than one cast, okay? Watch this. Boom. You see that? Right at the tip of that tree. Okay? Now remember, my gear ratio. Let me turn you around. My gear ratio on my reels are designed 5 one to one So I slowed the gear ratio down so it only covers a certain amount of feet versus you guys having a 6-5 to one or, or, or a 6-4 to one that's too fast. You got to remember the water is still going to be cold. So you got to slow it down. Okay. That is the most important tip that I can give you guys with my crappy rod and reels. Okay. I'm going to work this entire tree. Let me make sure I got you guys because that wind we're floating off. I'm about 20 yards out. Watch this. I'm going to try the middle. Look at that. Boom. That's an ultralight. Look where that, look where that bobber landed. Can you guys see that? Okay. When it hits, I'm in about two feet of water. Notice where I got the tip of my rod at. I got the tip of my rod at about 1 o'clock, okay? 12 o'clock, that means when it first hits, I'm going to hold it at 12 o'clock. But the closer as I get to the boat, the closer I get to the boat, let me pull you guys back some. The closer I get to the boat, let's see if I can get right. The more I'm going to drop it down, okay? So as I start turning... If I don't get a hit on the side, I don't get a hit at the bottom, I'm going to the tip now. Watch this. That's what my signature series do. That's about, that's about 20 yards right there with just a flick of the wrist. And I run that jig, slow it down right there. Look at where the tip of my pole is. I'm Guys, I'm giving you all my secrets to learn to catch these big world-class crappie. You're going to see me doing it unequivocally. We've been doing this now, guys, for seven years. Guys, I'm not new. I've been doing this a while. And let me tell you this. I can, turn, I can sit here and feature one of my rods for the next year, and we won't cut through 107 different rod and reels that we have. And by the way, we got a, a, a surprise coming in the next four weeks. We got the Viper Red coming out. And I only have so many of them, and people are already starting to reserve the Viper Red. Okay? As a matter of fact, I think I may have a picture of them. I'm going to post it up there in the corner so you can see the new Viper Red that's coming out. Okay, watch this cast again. I'm going to show you how accurate all of my carbon fibers are. Boom, watch this. Pow, flick of the wrist. That's 15 yards, a flick of the wrist. Okay, I don't have to use my whole arm. Look where my rod is. Let me turn, let me turn you guys so you can see. My rod tip is up at 12 o'clock. And as I start getting closer towards the boat, when it drops off, I lower my rod tip. Okay, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Slow that jig down. Okay, so let's pull out this way. We're going to pull out this way like this. Let me show it to you. We're at a different angle now. Let me show you. See where we are now? 
So I've worked that side of the tree. And now I come over here to this side. Let me pull you up just a little bit. Okay. And now I'm going to work the other side of the tree. Let me show you. Right there at the tip. Flick of the wrist. Boom. Look at that. Look how accurate that is. Guys, that's what that 6.6 delivers to you. That carbon fiber. It's just a flick of the wrist. And you guys got to remember, you're not throwing... You're, you're not throwing a spinnerbait. You're not throwing a, a, a rattle trap with all that weight on there. You're just throwing, at, at best, at best, an eighth ounce jig. At best. 80% of the time, you're going to be throwing a 116. Okay? So, having a 7 foot 3 and you got a bait caster, if you're not dialed in, guess what that means? That means a bird's nest. The key is irritation. Crappie are not going to bite because they're hungry. They're going to bite because you're irritating them. They're going to have on their tuxedos. They're going to have on their war paint. They're going to be black. Okay, come spring. They're going to be guarding eggs. So that's why I tell you guys, don't do one cast. Do two. Do three. Okay, because you're going to irritate them. And they're going to bite. You, they keep seeing that object swim by. Boom, you got them. Now... Anything that's brand new in the water, the crappie are going to gravitate. I want you guys to specifically remember what I'm doing right now. And if you don't, if you, if, if, if you forget, bookmark this video. Because I'm telling you, in four or five weeks, I'm going to be killing them doing the exact same thing that I'm doing right now. I'm going to be killing them, okay? And one other thing I, I want to mention to you guys before we get ready, I'm going to go over here towards the beaver dam and show you how, how I will be fishing the beaver dam. If you have a subscriber that you enjoy, one of the best things that goes a long way is hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to his channel. It's free. It doesn't take any effort. Boom, boom. That's it. If you got a favorite creator, because there are a lot of good fishermen out there, show love and support him. It doesn't cost you any money out of your bank account. It doesn't cost you any money for you to go to his channel. Just hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button and once you hit that subscribe button the red button right below the video hit that bell you want to click all the notifications so you forget so you do not forget that you get all the notification of your favorite uh creator on youtube that's important you show love and you support and listen it's minimal effort and it doesn't cost you anything okay i want you guys to remember that okay let's get ready to head over here i'm going to show you the beaver dam where it drops off at okay and when we get over there, I'm going to show you what, I'm, what I'll be using. Okay, I'm right here at the, at the opening. We call this um, the pond inside the lake. And I, let me show you what I'll be using. Guys, this is another double tail. You remember I told you about all the colors that we have? Look at that. Look at that double tail. Okay, you remember I told, just told you about irritation. Look at that nasty bent hook. Okay, matter of fact, while I'm on the, on, on the subject, before I start casting... Let me show you this. Guys, you heard me mention in my last video, this is what all of us grew up off of. Can you guys see that? Look at the point. Look at how small that point is to that plastic. This is my, one of my two inch plastics. This is not my hook, okay? But I grew up off of this hook. You see that? Now, if you're catching 12, 13, 14 inch crappie or you get that monster that's on the line, this is the only thing that is helping you from that crappie getting off. And let me tell you something. They know how to throw that hook. Okay, look at the look at the gap. It's a very very small gap. That's the old school hook. But technology has changed. Everything has changed. Cameras have changed. Automobiles have changed. Guys, you're still 30 years back using the same hook. Now let me show you the nasty bin hook. Look at this. Look at that gap. You see the difference? Okay, you see the difference. That's why I don't have to to yank my pole. All I do is just lift the tip up. That's all I have to do. Look at that gap. You see that? Look at that gap. And they're chemically sharpened. Nobody else has this nasty bent hook. Look at the gap between the plastic and the point on that hook. Do you see why I use these nasty bent hooks? Okay, because if you catch a 12, 13, even a wall hanger, guys, look, you don't want this. He's going to stay in the water. You see that little gap? He's going to stay in the water. Look at mine. Okay? What is that old saying? It's better to have and not need than to need and not have. Okay, let me turn you around. 
I'm going to show you again with that illustration. If I can get out of here, I'm driving backwards in case you guys didn't know. I'm dri driving backwards. Okay, you remember earlier I showed you the beaver dam, the beaver house, right? Let me back up. I'm going to be running the double tail. Let me show it to you. I'm going to be running several different colors. You see that sparkle in there? You see that sparkle? This is a two inch double tail. Okay, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to use that bobber scenario again, okay, with my blacked out titanium. And listen, I want to mention this to you before I start casting. I understand how tough times are today, okay? That's why I fought tooth and nail to bring you guys after pay and shop pay so you can break this rod and reel up into payments bi weekly. On your job, if you get paid every week, you get paid every two weeks. If this rod combo here is $100, when you load up and you want a kit, let's say you want the, the, the signature series and you want the kit, okay? Let's say this is $150, or let's just say for the sake of argument, this is $100. You load everything up, put it in your cart, go to camscrappycombos.com if you want the elite kits. They're only in the, the elite kits, and my elite kit colors are only in camscrappycombos.com, okay? But the signature series are available in both camscrappycombo.com and also camscrappyhole.com. But let's cover right now Cam's Crappy Combos. The elite kit where you get the double tail, you get the stinger shad, you get the curly tail, plus you get the slab shad. Let me see if I can show you one. Plus you get the slab shad. Okay, you're going to see me use this in the, in the, in the, in the spring. Okay? That tail, you can see that tail right there. That's my new slab shad. You get all four of them in a neat carrying case like this. Plus you get all the nasty bin hooks, the different sizes, different colors, all of it inside of this carrying case along with the cam sticker. And it's upside down. Plus you get a coupon on your next purchase for 10% off. So don't worry about, well, what color should I get? You know, yeah, guys, I've grouped everything together. Plus you can take advantage on the water, as I was saying, put it in your cart, check out, and all that's available, if it's $100, is it's $25. No interest, no credit check, and when you get ready to check out, all that's due is $25. Two weeks later, an additional $25 will be due. We'll text you, we'll notify you, okay? Two weeks after that, your, set, your third and your fourth payment is due. Meanwhile, you're out, you done fished five, six, seven times, okay? We break it up sort of like layaway, okay? But you get your items now. You get them shipped to you immediately. Okay? That's a good thing. So, on camscrappyhole.com, it's afterpay. Okay? I want to make sure you guys can see it right down there. All right? Now, if you want the Elite Kit, which is only available in camscrappycombos.com, we have shop pay. I think it's shop pay. Yes, shop pay. Okay? So, it does the same identical thing as afterpay on camscrappyhole.com and in camscrappycombos.com we have shop pay. All right, let me swing back out. I want I, I, I fought for that guys because it shouldn't cost you. You shouldn't have to give an arm and leg to go out and enjoy yourself on the water. As up over my shoulder. So I got you there. There you go. Perfect. Pull you up just a touch. All right. You see the beaver dam up there, right? You can see the beaver house. So with that signature series, look at that. Boom. You see that? Look how accurate it is. I put that bob on there so you guys can see it. And look, we're going to be dropping down to 11 feet. They're going to be all up and down there because of those sticks. You saw in the earlier on the video how those beavers have pushed those sticks in there. Okay? So I know I'm going to be fishing this spot. Anywhere where you see overhang, let me show you this one over here. Look over here. You see the overhang of these trees right here? Guys, even if you're fishing from the bank, which I can't do because I'll be in a neighbor's yard, Throw anywhere where you see trees and stumps. Okay, watch. Let me show you this. See those stumps over there? Watch this. Boom! Look at that. Get that jig, pull it, jump it right out of there. Look at that. That's how accurate they are. That's how accurate my rods are. Remember, I'm just using the blacked out titanium. You guys choose which one that you want to use. My job to help you guys catch and land more crappie in the boat. And remember this. It's the little things that you do that's going to allow you to catch bigger crappie. And... I started off just like you guys bass fishing, 
I'm just like you guys. There ain't no difference between what I do, guys, and what you guys do. It's just that I perfected it. I'm always on the water. I perfected what I do because I spend so much time on the water. And come spring, I want you guys to get all the tips. I'm trying to give you everything that I have to help you become a better crappie fisherman. Because these crappie, believe it or not, finding them is the juice. Okay, because they're habitual. They're going to do the same thing every year. Okay, if you go back, we have over 200 segments on my channel, guys, and we're over 16 million views on all of our, on all of our platforms. And I want to say this too, if you are a good fisherman, which I know you are, and you enjoy catching fish, I want you to join us as free of charge on Facebook. Go to Cam's Crappy Hole Community on Facebook. We're 12,000 now subscribers, and we're growing big time. We're doing about 150, 200 new subscribers every week. I want you guys to come on in and help me showcase for the kids. Help me show love and support. Um, this is your community. It's my community. And I want you guys to come on. You guys have taken me into your home and shown me love. You guys have heard me say this before as if I was y'all's first cousin. And I have to give back to the community because that's what it's about. On my channel, you'll hear no profanity. You, you'll hear no, you know, no swearing. We don't, we don't do that here. My job is to teach and to show. And I might add, there ain't nobody within 100 miles of me. I don't push anyone else's products. Guys, we make our own. Okay? We have our own store. And as I mentioned to you guys before, we're approaching 10,000 fulfilled orders shipped. Almost 10,000. Okay? And we've been doing this now. We've been producing videos for seven years, over 200 segments. So listen, you guys know me. And for the people that don't, my name is Cam, down here in hashtag Thump City, Georgia. Um, this is the crappy hole. Okay? And until next time, guys, keep those hooks wet. Keep that line tight. And we'll see you on the next turn.